Alrighty, folks, welcome back to more lawyer game. Yep. This is, yep, Aiden here, and we're going to hopefully finish up the, uh, the second part of the first day of the tri uh, first trial day. Just for the clarity's sake, uh, we do not have a Zyka in the studio today. I will be taking over for part of the voices. Yeah. We were, uh, we were, where we left off, we were about to cross-examine um, Sasha Buckler because she's about to provide her in intake on everything because she apparently was there at the scene when everything was going down. So here's ho here's what we'll find out what we're what's going on what's going down in New York today. If I want to save Orla, I have to find a contradiction, no matter how small. Very well, your cross examination, please, Mister Wright. The equipment was everywhere, and the captain was lying on the table. Hold it! What do you recall about the scene exactly? I don't remember much, to be honest. I was in total shock from seeing the captain like that. If you ask me something specific, I might be able to remember, though. Specific questions. Okay, let's see. What should I ask you about? Uh, things scattered around. Yeah. Could you tell me more about the things that were scattered around? They were equipment and props from the new show. The new show? Yeah. We were supposed to debut a brand new swashbuckler spectacular yesterday. We already defeated the giant octopus with no stash at the table. We were going to have a new nemesis, Red Stash. She's on the fly. Oh, that's the uh, the flying rifle was distributing. Who will obtain the gold coins hidden in the skull rock? Oh, I wish it could have been me. Leave it to you, Athena, to know all about it. Orla's even got some new tricks for the new show. So all the stuff that fell down was for the new show, is that it? That's right. A bunch of props and crates and other equipment stacked up. Your Honor, for the record, I'd like that information added to the witness's testimony. Very well. Miss Buckler, please amend that what you said just said to your testimony. Append. Share that. Amend is fixing, append is adding. Uh, okay. Oh, he said append. Yeah. I mean, it is technically fixing it by adding new details. But... Yeah, but uh, uh, amending is like fixing because we Holy said something yeah. wrong. Yeah. These props for the new show. What kind of things were they? A blow-up dolphin, an anchor, Red Stash's costume, the bag of coins, stuff like that. The captain was wearing his usual costume, and the new props were all there. Wait a minute. Something about that doesn't seem right. Bag of coins. Is there a problem with Sasha's testimony? Yes, there is. Why? What's the problem? Why is he wearing the red scarf? That's a part of the new costume. Oh... You say the captain was wearing his usual costume, but is that completely accurate? Come on, Phoenix, what are you nitpicking my testimony for? If we look at the body, we see that there's a discrepancy between that and your statement. You stated that the victim was wearing his usual costume, but you'll notice that the victim was wearing a red scarf around his neck. But it's loosely fitted around his neck. I imagine this red scarf is part of his costume for the new pirate show. Oh, you're right. It's written right here in the flyer for the new show, featuring the dashing red stash with a fluttering red scarf. Although I have to say, it just it just looks like a red scarf was added to the old costume. Yeah, well, the captain was never one to spend much money on costumes. But, you know, the captain wasn't wearing that red scarf. But in this photo, I believe I see the red scarf. Yeah, but it's not wrapped around his neck. It's just draped on top of his neck. That red scarf was packed away with the rest of the new show's equipment. It must have fallen on top of the captain when the equipment fell down. Oh, I see. Looks like your discrepancy wasn't really a discrepancy after all. So the scarf doesn't have anything to do with the case? But there's something about the timing of the stuff falling that bothers me. Hold on. The timing of the stuff falling? Timing. 
it can't. The, the stuff must have fallen then if he, he must have been there before it, everything fell. Yeah, but so, that's so that, the, that's the thing. Like if uh, he was in the water with Orla and then and then it fell. Hmm. Yeah, but it but the thing is, he, it fell. Yeah, if it, if that was the case, that then, implicates Orla again. If, no, but if that was the case, if the stuff falling was the stuff that implicated her in the first place, the scarf would have been underneath him, not yeah. the, not above. Him. Yeah, maybe the bag of coins isn't the murder weapon. <laughs> and so your last cross examination ends in failure as well. You should know that such a feeble slash will never hurt me. As I said, the orca made the, the equipment fall and then toyed with the body in the, in the water. Objection! I'm sorry, Prosecutor Blackwell, but based on the circumstances of the scene, the defendant couldn't have dragged the body into the water after the equipment fell. Hmm. And why, pray tell, is that? Oh, I'll tell you all right. If the theory has been all wrong, then I'll just have to fix it. Stupid squeaky chair, you made me look bad. <laughs> yes, Mr. Wright, please do tell the court. What indicates that the body was not dragged into the water after the item? The fell? scarf! You, I, I don't think you even needed to move Take the that. curse. I think you could have gotten away. I mean, yeah, probably, but better to be safe than sorry, <laughs> right? This game can be very picky with shit. I think this one's actually pretty generous, though. Yeah. This red scar fell at the same time as the bag of coins. But if the body was dragged into the pool after the bag of coins fell, then the red scarf wouldn't still be on top of the body. What? In other words, the victim was already dead when the equipment came crashing down. Therefore, the bag of coins that fell with the red scarf was not the murder weapon. Silence. But it was the defense who claimed the bag of coins was the murder weapon to begin with. Well, yes, that's true. Do you intend to abet your original argument? After hearing the testimony, I realized my theory about the murder weapon was wrong. Please recall the facts we have learned so far. It's a fact that what or Orla bit that what Orla bit was the victim's dead body. After all, after all, when we saw the victim on the security footage, it was already dead. But then, Orla carried the victim's body to the side of the pool and knocked down the equipment for the new pirate show that was piled up there. Maybe Orla was trying to alert the humans to the victim's condition. If Orla knocked the items down on the victim after he was already dead, then it means the defendant didn't kill the victim with those items. But that's preposterous! You're preposterous. <laughs> Even still, your argument is lacking. If neither the orca's head buddy nor the bag of coins were the matter of death, then how do you propose the victim was killed? <laughs> A very good point. If the defense is now abandoning its original theory, then we would need a new theory as to what the murder weapon was. Uh, all right. I doubt I have no clue. I doubt I have no clue would go over well. <laughs> All right, let's go over the, uh, what we still need to find out about the victim's body. What we don't know. That's me. Sorry. What we don't know is how he died and why his body was at the bottom of the pool. I'm, I'm so. I, I don't like it when they don't switch the camera to the actual yeah, person. But keep in mind, her lips weren't moving. I, I know, I wasn't thinking about it. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if there's something that would explain both of those things at once. Hmm, how did the victim's body sink to the bottom of the pool? On a diagram, it's easy enough to move the body to the bottom of the pool. But in real life, the water would just cause the body to flow. What was the ding? And that was my that was my last thought. Oh. I forgot to do that. Right, right. Hold on. Water? Okay. Then what if we flip that around? What if there was no water? Then the body would go right down in an instant. So could the real manner of death be... Falling? Thanks for the great hint, Dina. What? I helped you and I didn't even know it? Yeah, that's how great you are. <laughs> Gosh, shucks. 
But how do they empty the water when Orla's in that pool? Is there a sub? There must be a way to, like, sanction her off. Yeah. Your Honor, I think we know the real manner of the victim's death. I think won't do, Mr. Wright. I expect a clear answer. Now then, what was the real manner of Jack Shipley's death? What's the manner of death that moved the victim to the bottom of the pool in an instant? Falling, drunk, assault? Falling. <laughs> assault. <laughs> Falling. Please take a look at this diagram of the Orca pool. If there was no water in this pool, then it would be very easy to move the victim's bo body to the bottom of the pool. He would drop straight down. Oh my. That could be the true manner of death. Could that? That was a question, not a statement. Hmm. Could it? Could it, Mr. Wright? <laughs> the Orca pool is about 65 feet deep. If the victim were to go from the top to the bottom of the from the top of the pool to the bottom when there was no water, then he would, without question, have fallen to his death. Death from a fall. <clears throat> the typical Disney villain death. <laughs> oh right, that. It all makes perfect sense. If he fell, that would explain the signs of blood force trauma all over the body too. The culprit pushed the victim into the pool when there was no water in it. After, after doing something to keep the body from floating up, they filled the pool with water. The pool water washed away any signs of blood, so no one would realize that he fell. Surprisingly, that actually makes sense. I mean surprisingly, your honor. My logic is flawless. I like the fact that the costume you chose for the Phoenix matches co uh, the colors of of the trainer. Yeah, right? It, it's it, red and pink. It was all according to plan. <laughs> all according to Kate Gaku. Order. Order the court. I'm just as surprised as you are, but I must have honor. <laughs> order. I'm but, honor. Honor! I was, honor. I, was, I, was, I was possessed by Zuko. <laughs> How do I still know who that is? <laughs> if falling was the manner of death, then does that mean the defendant's behavior was the result of being manipulated by the true culprit, as the defense claimed? Yes, it would have to be. All that needs to be explained now is how the real culprit commanded Orla. Miss Buckler, is there a way to instruct Orla to bite something? What? What kind of trick would that be? Of course not. Then could you tell us about the tricks Orla does know? Well, there's jumping, dancing, and playing volleyball. And she can spin, do the rock and roll trick, and sing the Swashbuckler Spectacular song. Those sound like pretty nice tricks, but I doubt they're related to this case. She's also practicing two new top secret tricks. There's the human rocket, where she shoots somebody up into the air. And then there's the lifesaver trick, she, where she brings a drowning person to the surface. Hey, one of these top secret tricks might have something to do with the case. I wonder which one. The human rocket! The human rocket! <laughs> Is this really a choice that would require consequences? We <laughs> like, should have had a funny answer. Yeah! The lifesaver trick. Come on. So, in the lifesaver trick, Orla brings a drowning person to the surface, correct? You caught it! Orla's still learning how to hold someone gently in her mouth. So she sometimes bites into their clothes, and she's never, but she's, she's, but she's never hurt a person's skin. Yeah. She brings a drowning person to the surface. That then that must be it. <clears throat> and the killer whale swam up towards the surface with the victim in its mouth. That matches up perfectly with what Mr. Plume said in her testimony before she revealed herself. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm not unseeing that anytime soon. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the real culprit must have used the lifesaver trick command to manipulate Orp. Hmm. I still find this very hard to believe. Then let's see it for ourselves. Let's have Orla show us her show us her trick using the practice stuff. <laughs> As you wish. The prosecution doesn't appear to have any objection. Miss Buckler, please proceed. Okay, sure. I'll show you Orla's phenomenal trick. Hey, Marla, you ready up there? Okay, let me just get the practice dummy. There. 
It's in the pool. Ready and standing by, Sasha. Here goes. Orla's secret new technique, the lifesaver. The clothes got torn up a little, but the dummy doesn't have any new marks on it. And there you have it. Or the secret new technique. Woo! There <laughs> Something. Buddy. Sounds like the gallery loves Orla's performance. That was great. That awesome trick captured everybody's heart. Ho, ho, ho. Wonderful. I wish you could see more. Yeah. Looks like we silenced Prosecutor Blackwell. Thank you, Orla and Miss Buckler. And thank you too, Mr. Rhymes. For now. <laughs> and so now you can clearly see how Orla was manipulated. The bottom of the orca pool needs to be examined immediately. We might still find some evidence of the victim falling to his death. The only problem is now. Now the orca may be innocent. But now we've implicated. Well, but now it's a secret. It's two secret techniques, and at this point, only Sasha is able to know these. Uh, we for now, like so, we're, we've basically just implicated Sasha Buckler as our as the murderer now, two times, twice. Yeah, Prosecutor Blackwell, please have that taken care of at once. Mm. Uh, excuse me, Prosecutor Blackwell, but I'm requesting further investigation. Ah! Bitch, did you forget I could shock you? <laughs> Sorry, where the hell did that come from? <clears throat> Justice, honor, and, uh... Uh, Prosecutor Blackwell, you have to answer the nice judge brought politely. Oh, that's right, I almost forgot. The thing you asked for just came in. Oh, is it an up updated autopsy report? Updated autopsy report. <laughs> I shouldn't be bothered to think of a less violent way to just deliver it. It wouldn't have been funny on the other way. <laughs> I hate when he makes sense. <laughs> what did Prosecutor Black will ask for? I've been waiting for this. Oh, and what is that? Get a load of this. An updated autopsy report. What? Why did Why did it have to come now? And what has What has Edgeworth been teaching you? <laughs> All of his ropes, Felix, especially the ones to get onto your skin specifically. But I can get onto your skin just fine with my sword. <laughs> During the recess, I ordered the body to be re-examined. Someone started nagging at me during the course of the trial. You see. Here. I take it you'd like me to read it. Very well. Cause of death thought to, thought to be from 65 foot fall. He thought so too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this. But this is decisive evidence that substantiates Mr. Wright's theory. What? It's something good for a change? <laughs> If the manner of death is, was falling into an empty pool, the orca can't be responsible. It seems Orla's complete innocence has been proven. Hmm. I suppose I can't deny that. This is fantastic! You did it, Mr. Wright! Prosecutor Blackwell isn't even trying to refute it. Orla is saved. Yeah. Is it really safe to celebrate? Too easy. It would appear more investigation into this case is necessary. But first, allow me to render my verdict. The court finds the defendant, Ora Shipley. Orla, right? Oh, well, it's Ora Shipley, but her, her name, stage name is Orla. Oh! I didn't know that. Ora Shipley, uh, but the stage name is, or is Orla the Orla. Okay. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> but then again, Phoenix wasn't celebrating much either. Yeah. You did it! Thank you so much, Phoenix! Thank you, Athena! Orla and Marlin, thank you, too! Congrats, Sasha. Wait. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait. 
<laughs> Time to celebrate. Go on, eat up. Fish. Just... Fish. 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 <laughs> Fish. <laughs> so glad everybody's so happy. And I'm so to absolutely thrilled about the verdict. <clears throat> Thank you, Ray Dono. Huh? For what? Hmm. The drained pool. Thanks to you, the truth is finally clear. Fulbright, arrest this woman. Certainly, right away, Prosecutor Blackwill. Sasa Buckler, you are hereby under arrest for the murder of Jack Shipley. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? What reason could you possibly have? Come now, you must have had some idea in the back of your dull little mind. The true culprit manipulated the Orca in order to have false charges brought upon her. And who is the only one with the ability to accomplish that? You can only be the Orca's trainer. But I'm sure there's some other explanation. Silence! I don't need any of your baseless counter-arguments, even though they've all been true so far. Yeah, they haven't been baseless at all, actually. Have you forgotten? In order to enter the Orca Pool Room, a security card is necessary. A security card that only the victim and Sasha Buckler possessed. And Miss Buckler is the only one who could have caused the victim to fall to his death. No, my non-existent hair! <laughs> I don't believe it. Miss Buckler was so upset by Mr. Shipley's death, she couldn't have done it. Mm. Fulbright. We asked the security company yesterday to check their security card logs. Their report just came in during the recess. The night before the incident, Sasha Buckler used her card to enter the Orca pool room. After that, not a single person entered the pool room. Not until the incident was discovered when Miss Buckler and the guard ran in. Objection! But no one could would commit murder where the where their card usage was being recorded. Apparently, the aquarium employees don't know what that their card usage is tracked. What's more, Miss Buckler was seen arguing with the victim before the incident. So, Miss Trainer, what were you arguing about? It was a private matter. But it wasn't anything I would kill him over. That's ridiculous. Miss Buckler is the only one who entered the room, and she knows how to command Orla. Besides, I thought her suspicion from the... Uh, I, I thought her suspicions from the very beginning... Oh, F off. <laughs> you suspected Miss Buckler from the start? First of all, F off. No, you didn't. Yeah, second of all, why didn't you lead with that? Ah, well, he wanted to... He wanted to do, like... A that thing. Mind games. <laughs> that the Orca sense. did tricks because someone commanded her to do so. Possibly someone with a heart so black as to make her own partner the murder weapon. The possibility the or Orca killed the victim. The possibility a human manipulated the Orca. I looked into both. So he suspected both Sasha and Orla all along. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry. <clears throat> My gratitude to you, after all. You were the one who drew out that information about the life saver trick. The orca you saved was an unwitting victim. A victim made to look like the weapon that killed Jack Shipley. <laughs> no! This isn't the first time this has happened before, though. Alright, come along then. Let's have a good long talk. Wait, I can kill the captain. And I would never try to frame Orla. Why would I hurt the ones I love like that? Sasha! Phoenix, Athena, you gotta believe me! I mean... <laughs> I can't swim on land! <laughs> Sasha didn't kill him! I believe that with all my heart! There's gotta be something we can do! I feel the same way. Could I have done something differently? No. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine things turning out like this. This this exact same thing has happened before. 
Do you not? Did you forget the whole mask to mask debacle? <laughs> this is exactly what happened in that case too. <laughs> Who is this mask to mask? I don't remember. It. <laughs> it was so forgettable. <laughs> well, the second one was forgettable, but not the first one. Convenient memory loss. Hmm. It would appear that this case has taken on an entirely new aspect. But this trial was only considered for the ruling on the defendant or a shipper. Concerned, yeah. So I'm afraid this concludes today's trial. Court is adjourned. I'm just going to pretend this didn't happen. Court is adjourned. <laughs> Sucks to be you. This is for another thing. Get out of my thing. Sucks. You don't have to leave, but we don't want you here. Sucks to suck, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can go anywhere you want, you can't stay here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, let's just jump, jump right into Chapter 2. Right, anything, Agency. Mm. What was the big sign, Athena? Did you lose the case? No, we won. The defendant was found not guilty. Huh? Then why are you so dejected? Daddy, were you being mean to her? What? Picking on the new kid? Not cool, Mr. Wright. Not cool. What are you talking about? I picked on you all the fucking time. <laughs> yeah. Get out of my- get off my case! <laughs> You're not wrong, he totally did. Get off my case, whippersnapper! <laughs> Wait a minute, talk about false accusations. Yeah. You were able to prove the defendant's innocence. But then Sasha got arrested instead. So that's what happened. That's too bad. So what are you two, two going to do now? We're going to get to the bottom of this. I don't believe for a second that Sasha did what they're accusing her of. I don't believe it either. I won't give up. Let's, let's go see Sasha and tell her what we that we want to re represent her. Right now, I imagine there's she's still being questioned by the police. Let's get started on the investigation first, and look for proof of her innocence. Sounds like a plan. Just leave the office to me and Polly, Daddy. If there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. Thanks. If you could organize the evidence and clean the office, that'd be great. I meant anything I could do as a lawyer. Yeah, you could clean my toilet. <laughs> that's not lawyering, that's chores. <laughs> Yeah, lawyers need to do chores too, Apollo. Then why don't you do any of them? I do it all the time! <laughs> My boss forced me to do it when I was your age, and now you need to do it too! <laughs> Aw, oh, man! That takes care of that. Time to head to the scene of the crime. You're not the only one I pick on. Athena has to do it too. <laughs> Athena's just like walking over the... <laughs> Yeah. And, no, she's just trying to walk out. Hey, it's your turn! <laughs> I'm busy! Uh, uh, look, the crime scene investigation! <laughs> oh, oh, that's me. Huh? There's no water in the pool. Orla, where are you? We... I can hear her at I the bottom. Hear, I can hear her at the bottom of the pool. Maybe there's some water down there? Sorry, I keep I, I, I keep reading it when they're showing the characters. It's so confusing to me. <laughs> Damn it. Well, sad, so sad. Maybe she misses Sasha. Uh, careful there. You shouldn't get right up to the edge like that. You don't want to end up like the victim. You get my impersonation of Prosecutor Blackwell. I know it's not very good, but, uh... Look, justice! <laughs> Besides... The police is, are still conducting their investigation here. Don't go poking around. No, seriously, look, justice! I thought I told you to clean the toilet! <laughs> <clears throat> oh, uh, Detective Fulbright! <laughs> is something wrong, Miss Lawyer? You look angry. I object to your mistake, Miss Butler! Detective, I'd like to ask you some questions about the case if you don't mind. Go right ahead! I have nothing to hide except my identity. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Buckler is 100% innocent, so why did you arrest her? 
I understand your desire to believe in her, but the fact remains that she's suspicious. Right now, there are investigators on the scene, so you can come in as you please. But ordinarily, a security card is required to enter this Orca pool room. The victim and Sasha Buckler were the only ones who possessed this card. And yesterday, the day of the incident, there's proof that suspect's card was used. So that it was used, but who's to say it was her that used it? Exactly. Like, just because it's her card, it the thing is, they can be stolen easily. Yeah. Again, this is very similar to the Mask the Mask case. Like, you can't... Honestly, saying that her card was used isn't... In, in real in real world terms, not decisive evidence. No, because anyone could have used that card. Yeah. Uh, objection! Somebody else could have used Miss Buckler's card. See? Yeah. Oh my! I guess that would be one possible explanation. Hehe. <laughs> Didn't I just sound like a lawyer right the right there? Yeah. You'd kind of be in trouble. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Except. The suspect confirmed she entered the room at the time the record states. She said she was here from 3 to 6 a.m. on July 20th. Apparently, she was giving the Orca Pool room a good cleaning. Cleaning? In the middle of the night? Yes, she said that a lot of the heavy-duty cleaning is done at night. The suspect also admits that she was fighting with the owner before his murder. What's more, nobody saw the victim again after he met with the suspect. Objection! Um, there must be something I can object to in there somewhere. Save your objections for tomorrow's trial. By the way, Detective Fulbright, do you think this Buckler's questioning is over? No, not yet. But I told the guy in charge to take it easy on her. Why? Is something wrong? Oops, uh, if we're gonna send anything, it doesn't concern you two anyway. Yes, it does. Let's jump this! <laughs> How many times do I have to teach you this yet lesson, young man? <laughs> it's like Phoenix coming in with like, Argh! Why do you keep leaving the office? <laughs> but it does but it does concern us. We intend to represent Miss Buckler. What? You do? In that case, I have a favor to ask. Could you get this medicine to her? Medicine? Looks like a prescription from Hitfield Clinic. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Wait, Hitfield? No! I spent some time at that hospital myself. Yep. We confiscated it from her home when she when we were doing the uh, search. I can't get away. I can't get away here, so if you could make sure she gets it, that would be great. They're going to use that as an excuse that she wasn't in her right mind, aren't they? No, it's for something else. Medicine, huh? Does Miss Tuckler have, have some illness? Um, I think that's the kind of question you'd better ask her. Injustice we trust. Now I need to get back to the investigation. Since this after illness, apparently she had a skill that he could get. We can give it to her as soon as they let us talk to her. And we have to return her calendar to her as well. If we can't see Sasha or investigate, we should question people at the aquarium. Is that it? Okay. So now... Hubbo danger. Here's the thing. Uh, my question is, yes, we got the calendar, and it's hers. What was what was Ryan doing with it? Uh, maybe he found maybe he found it. Uh, I think he said he did, but that seems suspicious. Hmm. Especially when the when the schedule. Uh, the only schedule listed is related to the case at hand. Ah, oh, yes. We're getting to this character. I've been waiting to voice this guy. Wait. Is that the salty guy? You'll, you'll see. Nah. Huh? That door is open. It was closed yesterday. Well, you know what we have to do, right? Of course, boss. We sneak in and check it out. Whoa. Hey, you two. All right, this guy. Who barges into a person's lab without permission? <laughs> We're sorry. My apologies, sir. She insisted. Don't throw me under the bus, Mr. Wright. Initiation, kiddo. <laughs> also, this guy looks like an elderly... Uh... Oh, shoot, what's that guy from Cowboy Bebop? Spike? Yeah, he looks like an elderly Spike Spiegel. The polite thing to do is knock and ask if you can come in. 
Now, start over. Yes, sir! Come in. I can't do it right. There we go. Thank you, sorry to bother you. Now, what can I do for you? Medical problems? Um, well, yes. I'm not feeling super good at the moment. We're not making any progress on this murder investigation, and... Hey, miss. Where is the patient? Don't you have your pet with you? Oh, wait a minute. That was my last job. This is the aquarium. I was exhausted from all the, that questioning. I must have fallen asleep. What's with this guy? My apologies. I just woke up, and I was a little groggy. Do I'm Dr. Herman Kraft. I'm Shipshape Aquarium's resident veterinarian. What's what's the pun in this name? I forget. Hermit crab. Hermit crab. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're you're the Doctor Crab Mr. Rhymes mentioned yesterday. And Rhymes also mentioned he hadn't seen Doctor Crab around. I wonder where he was. Ah, uh, probably crabbing around. Son of a gun! This little thing doesn't let me get any sleep. Oh, little baby! Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> oh, what a cute little thing! It's freaking literally me. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> literally you. <laughs> Who is it? Let me guess, rifles. A penguin chick. A member of the little penguin species. She lives in my hair. Oh, you're so lucky. I wish I had a pet to live in my hair. Athena, no pets allowed in my office. Oh, you're no fun. I already have to clean up after two loy other lawyers and my daughter. You make enough messes- she makes enough of a mess on her own! <laughs> but the messes that you make, you might as well be animals. <laughs> hey, go in the corner! <laughs> wait, you, you actually- wait, <laughs> I was joking! Yeah, you, you just get, like, uh, our Asha what the fuck from yeah, our, 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 our Discord. Like, I was just like, wait, I was joking. What what do you do in the corner, Athena? Uh. Oh, I'm watering the plants. Don't worry. Uh. Look, justice. <laughs> you know that can't be an excuse for everything. <laughs> it should be. Yeah, it should, yeah, it really should. Be. <laughs> if you two don't have any particular business with me, please leave. I have to get ready to make my rounds. Back in you go, little one. Wait, he'd like to ask me a few questions to save Miss Buck. Hold on. Don't tell me you're the curious pair who defended Orphan. Oops, that's right. Please let us ask you a little about the case. <laughs> Adorable! Come and grab. Dr. Crab, were you gone from the aquarium yesterday? That's right. I had some minor business at the Supermarine Aquarium. Supermarine? That's a funny name for an aquarium. The Supermarine Aquarium is the nation's biggest dolphin therapy treatment center. I go there myself. I'm friends with their dolphins. You and Apollo were talking about animal assisted therapy yesterday, weren't you? I go to the Supermarine once a month, but I live here, of course. You live here at the aquarium? That's right. I have a sleeping bag here, and sometimes I use the nap. I'm responsible for the health and well being of all the marine creatures here. If any of them were to sudden, a sudden medical emergency, I'll be here to help them. Uh, by the way, IRL, uh, dolphins are actually amazing at mental health. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I, I know this animal-assisted therapy, and dolphins are, like, one of the best ones. They are, because uh, they are, are arguably almost as smart as humans are, so they can pick up on, like, mm -hmm. things that most people don't. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're kind of rough around the edges, Dr. Crab, but you care a lot about your work. Hey, buddy. Is this young lady trying to pick a fight with me? I apologize for her, sir. She tends to be too honest. Well, you're no paragon of politeness either, apparently. Asking probing questions. That's my job! <laughs> Can we see the penguin chick again? Stop. Don't come any closer. No. <laughs> oh. Sorry she attacked you. She doesn't like anyone but me, I'm afraid. I was the first one she saw when she hatched, so she thinks I'm her parent. She targets people from my hair, so please be careful. 
She's just like the uh, she's just like a little sniper, isn't she? Exactly. That's why I named her Sniper. Her mother's name is Rifle. <laughs> sniper and Rifle. <laughs> sniper and Rifle, huh? What a dangerous sounding mother and daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is Rifle's daughter. Which means both mother and daughter now hate me. Imagine they imagine she later has a she later has a son and the name is Scope. <laughs> <laughs> scope rifle. Yeah, scope sniper rifle. Yeah. <laughs> little penguins are genuinely belligerent little creatures. It's hard to get them to warm up. But they're nocturnal, so you might be able to touch them during the day. You and Sniper get along well, don't you? Just like uh, Sasha and Orb. But unlike Sniper and me, the two of them seem to truly understand one another. This one keeps me awake every night. Looks like I can't, won't sleep until she leaves the nest. It must be rough for him. But it's pretty cute to watch for us. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about Jack Shifty's murder? Yeah. I still can't believe Jack is gone. He's the one who brought me on board. How could he up and die on me? <laughs> Did you and Miss, Mr. Shipley get along? He loved all animals and fish, but I'm not like that. But I still take took pride in my work as a vet, nonetheless. We got along well enough as business associates. And it's thanks to him, my laboratory is what it is today. It is a pretty amazing laboratory. Ah, you have discerning, discerning taste, I see. I could tell you more about my life. This place is just filled with electronics. What are those monitors for? Essentially, they're digital medical records for all the creatures here. I can also view a, the feed of the visitor's corridor security camera here. That way, I can see that silly mother penguin when she tries to escape. So you were the one who gave the security footage to the police? No, I wasn't here yesterday, but I did give my permission for them to take it. And I gave them a statement about Jack and Sasha arguing. Oh, so you were the one who witnessed it. That's right. It was late in the evening on the 19th. Maybe about midnight? I saw them fighting near the Aquatone. I don't know what their argument was about, though. Are you sure you should be tell talking to us about this? I'm not taking sides. I'll give information to anyone who wants it. What, what you do with that information at Sasha's trial is up to you. Wow, you're kind of rough around the edges, Mr. O Dr. Crab, but you're a pretty nice guy. <laughs> you are trying to pick a fight with me, aren't you, young lady? Oh, is that cute? He's easily embarrassed. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Son of a gun, are you hungry again already? That silly mother penguin's nowhere to be found again. Beep, 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 beep. Ah, would you quit beeping in my ear? Let me go on a walkie-talkie. Rifle is somewhere around the aqua tunnel. If you see her, could you bring her to me? I have to go examine some other creatures. No sweat, and this time I'll get her to like me, too. Rifle has escaped again. What is she, the Houdini of the penguin world? There's no guarantee we'll find her right away, but let's head to the Aquatone. Poor guy. So, can we just say that Dr. Herman Crab is basically this world's equivalent to Aizawa from My Hero Academia? Yeah. Pretty much. Instead of a teacher, he's a vet. Yeah, it's like Aizawa mixed with Spike. Yeah. <laughs> There's actually, uh, um... You, you remember the doctor from, uh... Crap, what's it called? Uh, uh, uh... Uh... Hitman Reborn, right? I believe so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's kind of like that, yeah. yeah. Like, his attitude is kind of like that. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's you two, the blue and yellow duo! I'm very angry about what you did this morning! Uh-oh. We ran into the sea lion before our penguin. Phoenix! <laughs> I write the truth, and I will find the truth with my very own eyes! I won't be bested by the likes of the blue and yellow duo! When did we become the blue and yellow duo? The Athena will never give up! In that case, I'll leave the question to you, Athena. 
Thanks a lot, Widget. Well, at least she's a worthy adversary. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> You'll do great. You know, being the boss isn't half bad. I get to watch my subordinates flounder. Delegation! <laughs> Have you been gathering material about the last year's incident ever since? That is correct. An acquaintance of the victim asked me to look into it, you see. An acquaintance of the victim? I refuse to divulge any information about my clients. The aquarium is saying it was an accident, but I don't believe that's the truth. It seems to me they're all hiding something. Every last one of them. The only thing I can think of is that the killer whale murdered that poor girl. But you don't even know if that's true or not. That's enough out of you, yellow girl. As I said, I'm still investigating the matter. Once I learn the truth, I plan to write a sequel to this book. She's completely taken with her investigation. I came to make a report on the anniversary of the previous trainer's death. Only to find the aquarium owner murdered. I was deeply shocked. I was shocked. Shocked. Well, not that shocked. Yet. <laughs> so this incident happened on the exact same date as the last one. It can't be a coincidence. Anyway, we better ask Mr. Plume about today's trial. Oh, trust me, there was a lot that was revealed today. Yeah. <laughs> More than we needed to know. Of course he. I mean, I mean, he had the appropriate reaction when it happened. <laughs> uh, give me one second. Uh, I tried my nuts. Uh, okay. So, you heard Orla singing and that's when you realized something was happening? Correct! Oh, it's all so galling! I still can't believe the culprit used me, nor to plume. In any case, I swear that Killer Whale song brings misfortune. Last, first last year, now again. A fun song like that? How could it bring misfortune to anyone? You think that barbaric song, song is fun? I'll never understand the tastes of children. Oh no, I know exactly what's coming. I don't remember that swashbuckler spectacular song being all that barbaric. Well, if you don't remember it, I will gladly sing it for you. Oh, boy. <laughs> I think that's where the costume comes from. A vast mateys, land lovers home, <laughs> and or all your gold. Village plunder, then feast of dreams, and the joys of piracy. Oh, God. That, that that was where the budget went, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes. Now, what is fun about those lyrics, pray tell? She seemed to be enjoying it well enough. Wait a minute. That isn't the, swash, the Swashbuckler Spectacular song. Yes, yes it is. Just a different version of it. This is the song from the Swashbuckler Spectacular. And this is where the other half of the budget went. <laughs> <laughs> just scallywags who are as free as free can be. <laughs> we swim through storms and waves all because you see. Got treasure and adventures waiting Aspina's for me. Aspina's the free. best singer every, out of everyone here. <laughs> the actress is actually good at that. Yeah. What was that? I've never heard that song before. What? It's the song they use in the Swash Butler Spectacular. Oh, we be pirates. We love to sail the seven seas. Just a bunch of scallywags who are as free as free can be. We swim through the storms and waves, all because, you see, grand treasure and adventure is waiting just for me. But that can't be. It's completely different from the song a year ago. A fast mateys land lovers home. Hand over all your gold. Village plunder, then feast like kings. Then's the joys of pirating. Unless you show me some proof, I won't believe your song is right. Grr, she's so stubborn. Well, it's proof she wants. It's proof she'll get with, of the Swashbuckler Spectacular song. Uh, you Play know, the video. So you know the you know the song uh, "Dancing with Myself." There's this this man here is literally singing with himself. Yeah. <laughs> Swashbuckler video. 
This recording contains the Swashbuckler Spectacular song. In it, you can hear Miss Buckler and Orla singing together. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Because you see, great treasure and adventures are waiting just for me. I refuse to engage. How did he do a spoken word version of that song? He found a way. <laughs> she found a way. But I've never heard this song before. Huh? But they always sing the song during the Swashbuckler Spectacular. Well, I haven't seen this show recently. A year ago, they used, used the song that I sang to you. I'd recognize it anywhere. Perhaps that killer whale can sing two songs? According to Miss Butler, Orla only knows one song. Then, what was that song that I heard? We wish we knew. The orca sang a song she isn't supposed to know how to sing? What if there were two orcas? Ooh. What if there are two different orcas? Could be. It's obvious I have a lot more investigating to do on Shipshape Aquarium. And perhaps I'd better look into the danger uh, Center for Dangerous Animal Control as well. Center for Dangerous Animal Control? What's that? We already proved that the Orcus not. Can you tell us about this Center for Dangerous Animal Control? Just as the name implies, it's an organization that monitors dangerous animals. The center demanded that the aquarium put the killer whale down a year ago. Put her down? But the aquarium owner refused their demand, saying it was an accidental death. But I hardly think a persistent organization like that would just give up and go away. I'm quite sure the power of money helped convince them. That would explain things. What if it was the second orca that was put down? Not yeah, one. I was about to say, I'm like, maybe they got it wrong. Oh, she got it wrong, and the orca was put down. Maybe, yeah. That make, what makes you think that? Once a month, the owner and the vet disappear from this aquarium. And I came to find out that each time a large amount of money was being paid out. Oh, and you think the money was going to the Center for Dangerous Animal Control? Dak! I'm looking into it now. You'll have to wait until my book comes out to see. In any case, I can't catch that man out of uh, out on anything. But that veterinarian is not to be trusted. I don't trust people that are true neutral. <laughs> Dr. Herman Crabb. There's still so much we don't know about him. He really is the embodiment of true neutral. <laughs> well, I don't see Rifle here. What do you want to do next? I think we'd better stop by the office and discuss a plan of action. Oh, good. We have to talk about it. Talk to Apollo. Quick, tell him to scrub the toilet. <laughs> After you scrubbed all the floors. <laughs> I, I need to get that game. Yeah. <laughs> Bloomers! Wow, you pulled up Miss Phoenix's cell phone from your magic panties. That's amazing. <laughs> it's all, that's all for Trucy's magic show. Come back and see you next time. <laughs> Great job, Trucy. You never fail to impress. I have no idea how you did that either. We're back. Oh, Pearls, stopping by for a visit? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Nick. Are you missing something? Uh, thanks. From out of the old magic panties, huh? How's the investigation going, Mr. Wright? Meh. We don't have much time, but we didn't get a chance to check out the crime scene yet. I see. Oh, speaking of checking out the crime scene, Daddy, you should bring your forensics kit with you. Fingerprint powder for, to check for prints, and luminol testing fluid to check for blood. Wow, Trusty, I didn't know you had stuff like that, too. Hehe. <laughs> I got them from a detective friend of mine. Uh-huh. She's, she's... From her, you could say the sky's the limit. Mr. Nick, I'd like to help you with your investigation. Can I borrow your forensic... Forensickening kit? <laughs> Sicking kit. I feel bad making you work when you're supposed to be having fun. Here, have fun. I don't mind. And I'd like to see Rifle again, too. Do you have anything for me to do? 
Bruh. Please? Please? <laughs> if you have anything for me to do, I'd like to help too. It's like that embodiment of that meme that's going around. It's like, no, I will not applaud you, Apollo. That job was shit. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, thanks. I'll be sure to ask you if anything comes up then. Well, I'll be right here, hanging around watering Charlie, if you think of anything. <laughs> I appreciate that, Apollo. Got some good kids here. Is Charlie a plastic plant, though? Char not a plastic plant. I think it's an actual bird. All right, team. Let's do our best. I have faith we can save Sasha altogether. It sure feels nice to be part of a great group like this. I just want to say that I really love working here with all of you fabulous people. Thank you for bringing me aboard, boss. Same here, Athena. She's so earnest, she's making me blush. Okay, let's run all over, all run over to the aquarium. Note to self. <laughs> I hope I can be of some use with, some, with the forensicking, forensicking kid. Jeez, that's so hard to mispronounce. Hey, wait up, you two. They left without me. Note to self. Tell Athena to turn down the brown nose. I can't. <laughs> her her nose is becoming Milano. <laughs> Don't act like you're not impressed. <laughs> Injustice we trust. Good timing. We're done with the crime scene for now. And we're just about to examine the show stage. Marlon Rhymes helped with the cleaning, so we've got to go talk to him. I thought he'd be more tight-lipped than this, but hey. You're welcome to look around here now, if you'd like. Thank you. I think we'll do just that. Oh, by the way, if you want to examine the bottom of the pool, I recommend using that hoist over by the ladder to get down there. That crane-like thing hanging from the ceiling, right? Got it. Just stand on the ladder platform and the police guard will lower it for you. We'll operate for you. Thanks. Why couldn't the pool be less deep? Well, good luck to us both in Justice We Trust! Detective Fulbright's gone, we can do anything we want here. Guard is still here, so keep your voice down when you say stuff like that, Athena. <laughs> oi, 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 oi. Let's use the hoist to go down the bottom of the pool. Orla! This, this must be Orla's bedroom. There's even a sofa and everything. Orla, congratulations on your not guilty verdict, but we have bad news. Now Sasha's been arrested instead. Orla seems sad. I'm sure she is. I can sense the sadness filling her heart. Don't worry, Orla, we'll save Sasha. I think Orla's wishing us good luck. Orla really seems to understand what we're saying. She can't understand our words, but I bet she can understand our hearts. A map, a compass, and a spooky skull-shaped rock. Orla's room is filled with pirate pizzazz. But that skull rock seems out of place. It doesn't go with the other things. Yeah, it does seem pretty weird to have a big skull rock next to your desk. Maybe Sasha wasn't finished arranging the set? When it comes to Orla, Sasha doesn't seem to like the, uh, seem like the type to leave something half done. Her state of mind when she put it there, that could be the key to this mystery. And I bet it's a mystery I could solve. Never mind that mystery. Let's get back to the investigation. Wow, look at all that treasure! Those jewels in that crown are huge! They sure are. I guess everything is sized large around here. No, everything is sized Orla. I stand corrected. Narodo. <laughs> Narodo. Is this a good time to get started, Mr. Nick? Huh? Started with what? This is the crime scene, right? So this should be the perfect place to start forensicking. She wants to use the forensics kit so badly, she's practically leaving. Okay, let's do it. Forensicking it is. <laughs> Hooray! I get to help! Alright, we'll need these. Uh-oh. Please don't do anything. Don't do something stupid. 
Okay, good. Stupid. <laughs> no. Quick, quick, say something witty. I'm, something witty. I meant the power going out. <laughs> Plug it in. Um, what's with the glasses, Mr. Wright? It's not like they're a fashion statement. We need them to see if there's any blood. All right, Pearls. You spray the luminol wherever I need it, okay? Got it, Mr. Nick. I won't miss an inch. Got your glasses on, everybody? Good. Now to check out the bottom of the pool. Why does, why does um, Emma have multiple uh, version, multiples of that uh, of the glasses? Because they're important. Look, I see something. If your deductions are correct, boss, I guess this luminol reaction means that the victim hit this skull-shaped rock when he fell to his death. I guess so. There's a blood stain on the rock. The victim may have struck it when he fell to his death. Oh no! I'm so sorry I got some on Orlop by mistake! Calm down, Pearly. It's okay. Look! There are luminal reactions on Orla, too. The poor thing was bleeding yesterday. The luminal must be showing her injuries. But wait a minute. What is the blue said the blood disappeared when Orla put on the hat? Huh? So shouldn't her injuries be under the, her hat? If this blood isn't from Orla's injuries, then what could it be? I guess that's about it for inside the pool. Then let me just get a quick photo to remember the occasion by. It's not every day we get to see the bottom of an aquarium pool. Yeah, that's a good shot. I'll mark, I'll mark where the luminol reactions were. Yay, my first collaborative work with Pearly. Out of the bottom of the pool, the locations of the bloodstains detected with luminol are sketched in. Yeah, that's great and all, but why did you have to add swirls to those arrows? <laughs> I don't know. Huh? I hear something. Orla. Boss, something's wrong with Orla! What? You're right, she's listing. She's listless. And she's sinking! Oh no, maybe it's because of that luminol I got on her! What do we do, Mr. Nick? We can't do anything for her ourselves. Let's get Dr. Kraft. I'll run and get him. Get him. I'll get him. <laughs> <laughs> What's Orla's condition? She's, list she's listless and sinking. Maybe she's unconscious? The pool is drained. Son of a gun, who did this? She'll drown unless we do something. Here, give me a hand. Huh? Us? No, I meant the steel samurai. Of course you. Just help me. What? All right. What do you want us to do? There's no time to fill the pool to get her up to the top. Get the orca stretcher. It's a piece of black cloth and a skull and crossbones on it. Looks like a pirate flag. When the stretcher is ready, press the hoist button. Okay, we're on it. It's right behind him. So this pirate flag is a stretcher for the orca, huh? We can't use it with all this stuff on it. Let's clear it off. Good. Now press the hoist button and lower the stretcher. The control panel is on the wall to your right. Why aren't you doing it? Ah, this must be the button to move the hoist. But what about this box? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Crab, the stretcher's right. Good. Let's get it under orbit. I'll take it from here. Stand back. Have to treat her immediately. Hmm. There's something in her stomach. There. I got it all out. Will Orla be alright, Dr. Crab? Yeah, she'll be fine. She's just sleeping now. Orcas are mammals, so they won't die if they're out of the water for a little while. 
but their own weight puts stress on their organs, and their skin starts to dry out. I put some of my special handmade cream on her skin as an emergency, emergency measure. Feel better soon, Orla. Meh. Oh, if only I hadn't gotten that luminol on her. Luminol? Nah, no problem there. That stuff just washes right off. Orla's condition has nothing to do with you, young lady. Really? Then what is wrong with Orla? I don't need to share that information with you people. It's none of your business. I have to get back to my rounds, so I'll leave the rest to the crew. Please keep an eye on Orla while I rouse up some crew members. Sauce. Either that, or it's more like, I'm not going to divulge anything. Why don't you figure it out for yourself, genius? Well, no, like, it's, he, but the last time we saw him, he was completely open and transparent to any questions we had, and he said he wouldn't hide anything from us, and now he's trying to veil the truth. But, the, but then it's also, a, it's also a case of, like, he said there was something wrong with her, like, something was in her stomach. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the cause of it, and he's like, I don't have to tell you anything, you figure it out, stupid. <laughs> yeah. Go figure it out, stupid. <laughs> Dr. Crab sure is acting funny, and not the ha-ha kind of funny. He seems to be hiding something. Maybe we should check on Orla's condition before the staff get here. <clears throat> well. Orla, open your eyes! I know how you feel, Athena, but we better let Afi uh, Ale Athena, we better let a Orla rest for now. How did this happen? Mr. Wright, we have to examine her ourselves right now! I wish we could, but we're lawyers, remember? But there must be something we can do. Well, we can investigate the cause of her condition. Do we have evidence that might tell us something about the cause? Fish? Fish. Mmm. We can check out the contents of Orla's stomach, I guess. Hey, I see something mixed in with the fish. It looks like a medicine capsule. There's something written on it. I think it says three of these. What could it be doing in Orla, Orla's stomach? Mysterious capsule. A strange capsule that was found with three Z's are printed, is printed on it. So it's probably a tranquilizer. Yeah. I wonder what kind of medicine is it? Uh, it is. Let's ask Dr. Crab. It might have something to do with Orla's condition. Maybe we'd better not ask. He must have noticed it himself, yet he didn't mention it. I think he's hiding something from about Orla's condition. If we show him the capsule, he might try to take it away from us. Yeah, I guess he was acting pretty sketchy. Okay, let's look into it ourselves then. Good idea. When we get back to the office, we can ask, Apollo, ask for Apollo's help. Will you actually lose it if you uh, if you show it to him? Uh, no, you don't. You're not allowed to. I don't think I don't think uh, Doctor Crab is even present uh, anymore at this time. I guess that wraps up our investigation here. Orla still isn't still isn't fully awake yet. Oh, here comes some staff. Looks like they're going to put Orla back into the pool. And I guess they're going to fill the pool back up. I bet that will take. I bet that will take a while. Well, I guess we can leave Orla in the staff's capable hands now. Right. So where to now? Let's head to the show stage next. If we're lucky, the police will be done with the with the police. Ship ship aquarium show stage. So this is where they hold the Swashbuckler Spectacular, huh? <clears throat> Looks like the police are done with their work here. Hey, it's you Lloyds. How could you let Sasha get arrested? Didn't I ask you to take care of her? We're sorry we couldn't prevent her from getting arrested. But as her lawyers, we'll do everything we can for her. Sorry, I got upset. If there's anything I can do to help Sasha, just say the word. Marlon, you can trust in Mr. Nick. I'm going to do what I can, too, with this forensic king kit. I'm going to cover this whole area with forsickening. Uh, forsicking. 
I'm gonna cover this whole area with forensicking. <laughs> forensicking. That a curl, small fry. You can have free reign of this place. I want to check this place out, but I better talk to Rhymes too. Talk to the boy. I hear you helped Sasha with the cleaning, Mr. Rhymes. Well, not really helped. I was just taking care of or uh, of the oracle while we were here while she cleaned. Sasha felt bad for making Orla stay up so late, so she asked me to give her a snack. It was a little bit less than her ordinary meals, but she seemed satisfied. Oh yeah, and I put Orla on the transport stretcher too. Transport stretcher? See that hoist up there on the right? The stretcher can be suspended from it. The stage show is right next to the orca pool room. And we use the hoist uh, to move the orca of cargo between the two areas. So the rail we saw in the orca pool room runs all the way here, huh? Why? Did you want to uh, want to take a ride? Aerial investigation, huh? Sounds good to me. No, no, that's okay. I like my investigations on sweet terra firma. <laughs> yeah, Phoenix has a uh, had. Uh, he has a fear of heights. He has a habit of falling from <laughs> extreme heights. Wow, this looks neat. I wonder. Ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, the hoist can only be operated from the orca pool room. Oh, that's right. I remember seeing the hoist control panel in there. Oh my god! Can I stop yawning for five minutes? <laughs> So I'm sorry, but I can't give you a ride without somebody on the other end. No need to be sorry. Whew. Dodge that bullet. If it wasn't Miss Buckler or Orla, who else could have killed Mr. Shipley? You're freaking <laughs> Well, how do we don't know? We I don't know. know. We don't know the details. I know, but like even before, like he kind of was a little sus. A little bit, but I think it's more complicated, more nuanced than that. Yeah. Because I don't think he hated the captain. No. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, stop it! Well, I know Sasha is innocent, but I'm not so sure about the Orca. What? But we proved her innocence in court this morning. But a few days ago, that Orca attacked Sasha right here in the show pool. I saw that orca take Sasha's body into her mouth and squeeze her chest. Her chest? They were probably practicing the lifesaver trick. But Sasha was being crushed so bad she couldn't even blow the whistle. I wanted to help her right away, but look, I hate to admit it, but I froze. I, I'm a weak man. I can't protect anyone. I doubt there are many people who would pit themselves against an orca. Everybody, I tried to t uh, everybody tried to talk her out of it, but she wouldn't give up on practicing. When we said Orla could kill her, she said she trusted Orla. Yeah, well, everybody else seems to think Orla is a killer. How can, I how can you trust a creature that can't speak? You can't even know what it's thinking. But with orcas and dolphins, you can have communication of the heart. We saw the same device in the orca room, uh, too, huh? Yeah, we used it to lift or Orla when she was on the stretcher. In the show, Sasha made her grand entrance by hanging from this thing. Oh, we should think of, of a cool grand entrance for us, too. I've always wanted to burst into the middle of somebody else's trial with a loud bang. I've always wanted to crash in through the ceiling. I bet that would really knock the socks off the judge in the gallery. Just what exactly was this girl learning while she was here? <laughs> Press attention! <Yeah. laughs> oh, you're you're a villain, all right. You're just not a super one. <laughs> yeah. This galleon was in the Swashbuckler Spectacular too, wasn't it? Look at the cute figurehead. That just looks like Orla. It, yeah, it looks just like Orla. It is cute, but it looks like it's also a cannon. Ah! <laughs> Bitches, dick cannons. <laughs> The enemy lets her guard down, and BAM! They're very piratey, don't you think? I thought Orla and Sasha were supposed to be the good guys. We should do the same thing in court! Lure them in, and then BAM! Present evidence! I don't think the judge would appreciate any blaming in his court. <laughs> what about bamping? Um, I would have, I would have, I would accept the kaboom. <laughs> kaboom! <laughs> 
There's a skeleton adrift! <laughs> it's just a prop. Were you really scared? A little bit. While you're screaming. Is this skeleton an enemy defeated by Orla's pirates? No, he's an informant named the Skeleton Kid. A dashing, spirited character, neither friend nor foe. So you're saying he's alive in the shell? Haha. <laughs> he's very animated. Very. <laughs> this colorful sign, it's Miss Butler make it? Well, how'd you know? Yeah, that sign is for the new show. Before she went to clean, she painted it and left it dry. She told me to keep an eye on it while I was taking care of the orca. Huh? Isn't that the skull rock there on the right? Mr. Rhymes, is the skull rock a part of the set for the new show? Yeah, I guess so. If they were going to use it in the show, what's it doing in the orca? The sign is so eye-catching with all those twinkling stars. I think they're supposed to be starfish. It's for the pirate show, after all. Hmm. A few of them look more like leaves to me. Or penguin prints. Yeah. I'm gonna have to have a word with this penguin. <laughs> this penguin's causing nothing of trouble. Sasha put so much effort into making this sign for the new show. No wonder she was mad about what happened. Huh? I wonder what he's talking about. I'd better ask. Boy, you got some explaining to do. You say Miss Buckler was mad? Was it was it because of the new show? Uh, me and my big mouth. Okay, but you never heard it from me. There was a rumor that the captain wasn't gonna let Sasha in the new sh gonna uh, gonna let Sasha be in the new show. What? But why not? I don't know, it was just a rumor. I don't know if it was true. So Mr. Shipley was going to do the show all by himself? I can't even imagine the show with, without Miss Buckler. You don't think. Uh, uh, you don't think. So my thinking is when she got bitten, she was injured so badly she couldn't perform properly. And that medication is for that injury in the first place. Possibly. And he he benched her because of its seriousness. Although, if it, I don't, yeah, I think you're, I think you're on the a right track with this. I, but I don't think it was an injury. Mm -hmm. I think it might be something else, like maybe a medical condition. Yeah. I can't even imagine the show without Miss Buckler. It would be like, where's the beef? Is she trying to say it would be like bones without any meat on them? <laughs> I mean, Sasha wanted me to go back to the old swashbuckler. Wanted to go back to the old swashbuckler, swashbuckler spectacular. It's hard to say that with the with the uh, uh, the accent. Yeah. But now that the captain's gone, who knows what's gonna happen with the show? Wait, was I supposed to examine something else? Well, I guess I didn't examine the water. Look at this pool, it's huge! So this is where they do the Swashbuckler Spectacular. This show pool is the same depth as the Orca Pool. They practice the tricks in the Orca Pool and then do the real show here. Are you interested in the Swashbuckler Spectacular? Oh, of course! I've only seen it on TV, though. Well, I'm new here, but I, so I've never seen it once. Athena is a big fan. She watches the recording over and over. I love the show in the ocean. Standing here makes me feel like I'm at the beach. Especially with it open to the sky. You can even hear the sound of the surf nearby. Why don't you take a dip in the pool? Really? I can't? In that case... Well, what are you talking about? You can't swim there. We were just joking. Right. Uh, of course. I was just joking, too. Don't tell me she was actually going to do it. It's Athena. Are you surprised that she would do something spontaneous? Mr. Nick, I found some peculiar fingerprints. Pearls, I almost forgot she's been forensicking for me all this time. Oh, who's that? Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Oh, and that's that's the hypno tone. <laughs> yeah. Don't mind him. Prosecutor Blackwell, what are you doing here? Just some business to attend to. Prosecutor Blackwell insisted, so I brought him along to get a little exercise. I'm taking my prosecutor for a walk. <laughs> is it business with us? No, not you. My business is with that animal keeper here. Marlin Rhymes, you will be a witness for the prosecution tomorrow. You gotta be kidding! Why would I want to testify against Sasha? What you want does not matter. Now come along. But if I leave, who's gonna feed the orca? The other animal keepers are too scared to go near her now. Um, maybe I can help. I'm concerned about Orla's health, and this way I can stay close and look after her. I can feed her and do a telecast too if you need me to. I'll do anything to help. Sounds like Pearls wants to do something nice for Orla to make sure and make sure she's okay. Small fry, you tripping? That orc is dangerous, you know. Hee <laughs> hee, I'll be fine. I'm just happy to help. Oh, but I don't have a TV phone. I won't be able to contact you if I have to do a telecast. Marlin, can I please borrow yours? What? Sure, small fry, anything for you. Especially when you're gonna go out with your way to help like this. Stop looking at me with them big old eyes. I don't know if I'm going to testify, but I guess I can at least hear what the police have to say. Thanks for your cooperation. Now justice will be served with a strategy meeting. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Wright. Let's get back to our investigation. Hmm. How sad. The police have already investigated all there is to investigate. Your efforts are a waste of time. Nothing we do to try and save our client is a waste of time, Prosecutor Blackwell. Today, Yorka. Tomorrow, Sasha Butler. You intend to save them both. Hm. You say you believe in your clients, but isn't money really your true motivation? Why not admit you're only doing this for your own benefit? I can understand that much more readily than your empty righteous talk. For our own, our own benefit, that's not why we're, we're doing it. Now, Athena, try not to let him get to you. All right, we should be off, Prosecutor Blackwell. In justice, we trust. I'm holding you on a short leash now. Let this thing in public. <laughs> All right. Take me to the nearest tree, please. <laughs> oh, have the business, have we? Okay. <laughs> I've never been so insulted. Be be right back. I need some water to wash away the anger. Uh-oh. She hit Prosecutor Blackwell with that water. He doesn't seem to care, though. Um, I guess prosecutors these days are more about harsh monochrome than fancy frills. Oh, wait. What about those peculiar fingerprints you said you found, Pearls? <laughs> I'll tell you about them. I love her theme. So happy. I mean, I mean it's it's her innocent win. Yeah, right? it's so cute. I feel like she would be the one to try to do the puss in boots look on people <laughs> and it have it actually work. Stop looking at me with them big old eyes. Yeah. So tell me about this big discovery you made. Well, I don't know if it's a big discovery, but... I found some odd fingerprints on the pool liner over there. Okay. So what's so peculiar about them? Well, they're on the left side of the ladder, but they're right-hand prints. Wouldn't a person no usually hold the left side of the ladder with their left hand? Plus, I think they were made from above by grasping the ladder uh, with the right hand. Now that you mention it, that is strange. I wonder whose prints they are. I compared them with the prints on the file, and they turned out to be Marlin's. How did he manage to leave Prince in such an awkward position? So, Mr. Nick, was I helpful? Yes, you were. Thank you very much, girls. I don't know if they're related to the case yet, but I'll keep them in mind. Ladder Prince. Hmm. Mm, almost as if he was holding someone. Yeah. Hehe, <laughs> I bet Detective Fulbright doesn't even know about these prints. 
I imagine their search wasn't as thorough here as, as it was at the crime scene. You're probably right. I'm sure they checked everything but at the actual crime scene. Unless... But I guess they can't do forensics on every inch of the rest of the aquarium. But we could, thanks to Pearly, and now we have a new piece of information. Oh, you're embarrassing me, Athena. Creepy. You! <laughs> hey, it's rightful. We gotta catch her. Don't worry. She's being a good girl right here on my lap. <laughs> well, I'm glad she's been found. Got me looking for her, actually. Yeah, thanks again to Pearly. I think somebody's jealous. <laughs> well, I think I'll go talk to the chef about Orla. All right. Good luck, Pearls. And thanks again. Well, I guess we're done with things here. What do you want to do next? How about we have Apollo check out our mystery evidence? Oh, that's right. We haven't done that yet. Good idea. Let's stop by the office. Yo, lapdog, we need this observed. We need this uh, investigated. Be a good boy and do that for us. <laughs> oh, you're back. How's the investigation going? It's going pretty well, but there are still things we need answers to. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. You know what? Let's talk about it. Let's talk to you first. Would you like to help out with the investigation, Apollo? You bet I would. What do you want me to work? He's adjusting a non-existent tie. Yeah. Hmm, let's see. Do I actually have anything for him to do? Okay, and it's suddenly crickets. Oh, I know, boss. Let's have Apollo look at the evidence we collected. Oh, good idea. You might notice something that will help us with the case. My, attorney's back. My attorney's back. Ish. <laughs> Ish. Apollo, there's something I'd like your help with. You have work for me? What is it? Did you have this capsule checked out? I think it's some kind of medicine. Sure thing, Mr. Wright. I'll go to the hospital or something and have something to take a look. Let's see. I'm pretty sure the closest one is Hickfield Clinic. Good luck, Apollo. Thanks. I wonder if they'll let us see Sasha now. It has been quite a while. Let's stop by the detention center and see. We have something to deliver to her, too. Don't forget. Now, this that moment, we, we could have done, like, the achievements from the previous day if we didn't do it beforehand. So, presenting him with the fish and the uh, whistle. But we already did that, so. Mm -hmm. All right, boss, chin up. We have to lift Sasha's spirits. Ow, my chin! <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. Oi there, me hearties! Thank ye for coming! Arr. I'd be in good spirits to worry not about me! She's trying to cheer us up! Well, that went over like a lead balloon. I was trying to make up for all your trouble. Maybe the two of you need to take it easy. I guess they both had the same idea. <laughs> we came to let you know that we can take on your defense if you'll have us. What? Is something wrong? Why is she hiding from us? Prosecutor Blackwell said that you two would abandon me. But here you are to my rescue. That's why I'm so happy. It looks like she's crying back there. <laughs> of course we wouldn't abandon you. Uh, Sasha, don't cry. I, I imagine she's not hiding behind the chair, but she's just in the corner like this. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Maybe the two of you need to take it easy. Right, now I've got crying and staring. <laughs> <laughs> Oi. Okay, I'm all right now. Thank you for taking on my case. We're glad to do it. Well, now that you're smiling again, we have a few questions to ask. On the night before the murder, did you enter the Orca pool room alone? That's, that's right. That's right. Oh, right, sorry. On July 20th from 3 to 6 a.m., I was there cleaning and organizing. I keep thinking of Sasha as well. But Catherine and I were, were actually supposed to clean together starting at 4 a.m., but we got in a fight. I couldn't face him, so I went an hour early and started cleaning. 
What does the Orca Pool room cleaning involve? Well, first we have to move oil into the show stage pool before we get started. Mr. Rhymes mentioned he took care of oil in, his, in the show stage pool. After oil was moved, I drained the pool and, re and rearranged the equipment and props. And did the captain ever show up? 4am came and went, but he never showed. I bet he was mad at me. I wish I apologized to him instead of being all prickly and angry like a scorpion fish. Hola, mi amigo. Nope, not today. No, she uh, she's recovering from... Uh... Yeah, no, I picked her up. Yeah. I couldn't do it, she was going to call you next. <laughs> yeah, no, she cancelled because of that. Yeah. I'm glad we could prove Orla's innocence, but we didn't know you could get arrested. As long as we're less safe, I'm happy. I'm so Why? glad I found you two. You guys are the best. Let me guess, she committed the murder? No. They, well, they're, they're, she's they... currently the main suspect, though. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you found us, too. You're the best, Sasha. That face. I never imagined Orla's tricks would ever be used to commit a crime. Could you tell us more about the lifesaver trick? Yeah, sure. There's a little speaker on the captain's clothes and on the training dummies. That speaker could can emit sound waves. When a trick command is issued with the whistle, Orla uses the sound waves as a guide to find the person she was supposed to rescue. I see. Does anyone else know about how that trick works? The entire crew knows about it. But it takes quite a bit of practice to be able to command the lifesaver trick. It wouldn't be easy to do for anybody who wasn't a trainer. And that's why they suspected Sasha. And Orla can perform only perform one trick per signal. In other words, she can't perform two tricks at the, at a time. And that's exactly what the Bloom su uh, suggested that she could do. Yeah, she sang the song and did the rescue trick. Yeah. Which means the song was probably being pumped through the uh, speaker system. Yeah. Wait, so she can't do the singing trick and the lifesaver trick at the same time? So what was that song Mr. Boom heard? Oh, Mr. Wright, I just remembered. We have something to return to Sasha. Oh, yeah, you're right. I got it right here in evidence. We have to give Sasha that item Detective Fulbright gave us, too. Oh, well, no, no, it's fine. fine. Looks good. Yeah. All right, so first up was the calendar. So this is, this is your calendar, isn't it, Sasha? Huh? No, mine's at the aquarium. Yeah? Mr. Rhymes, Mr. Rhymes said he found this one in the map room. Huh? I didn't think anybody else at the aquarium used a calendar like that. The owner of this calendar had a meeting scheduled with the victim. This mystery person might be the killer. We'd better find the calendar's owner. It's gonna be funny if that calendar ends up being like last year's calendar. <laughs> Maybe. Because it'd be like you guys can't notice that the days and the uh, and the uh, day of the weeks don't line up correctly for this year. Yeah, I don't know. Detective Fulbright asked asked us to give you this medicine. Because I don't think I don't think uh, that can ever happen in two years in a row, right? No, I don't. Where think everything so. lines up exactly. The no, same. I don't think so. Arr, that build sucking blackguard had the spine to send me a gift. Dread pirate no stash, don't stand here ga uh, gaping like the weak little minnow have at ye. Oh, a real swashbuckling battle! Arr! If it be a fight you want, a fight you shall have! Could you two please not drop into show mode out of the blue? Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, I'll take that medicine. She's looking kind of funny. What is the medicine for, by the way? Uh. Well, I guess I can't keep it a secret for you to come, you two. I... I suffer from a heart condition. A heart condition? Then you'd better get to the hospital right away. Take it easy, Athena. She's in detention, remember? Don't worry. It's not as serious as it sounds. They can fix it with surgery. Not serious! A heart condition is a heart condition! Don't tell us not to worry! Yeah, I'm sorry. The captain was just as mad at me that day and before yesterday. We both got so worked up at one point, it was like a shark-eat-shark -shark situation. 
Sharknado. <laughs> Don't remind me of that travesty. <laughs> Whew, that sounds scary. Do you mind if do you mind if we ask more about that fight? Why were you arguing with Mr. Shipley? The captain knew about my foot condition and he was worried about me. So he said he wouldn't put me in the new show. I was right, right. but for the wrong reasons. Yeah, like I said, I think you were on the right track. You were on the right track. Yeah. See, I'm not in the new flyer. Oh, you're right. It's just like, uh, it's just Orla and the new adversary, Red Stash. I was so upset and frustrated. I was still crying when I went to do the cleaning. And I cried for quite a while before I drained the pool, too. But then, you know what? Orla did a trick and tr to try and cheer me up. She acted out the scene where she defeats the giant octopus by spiking a ball at it. She spiked that ball so hard, she even ended up breaking off one of the octopus's legs. What a dramatic way to cheer up a friend. So that's why we argued, because he wasn't going to put me in the new show. But I was determined to be in the show yesterday. It was July 20th, you see, the anniversary of the death of the trainer before me. Josh, Azura uh, Summers. after you're done with that, wash your hands. I don't want you handling this with those hands, okay? Azura Summers. The person Norma the Queen wrote about in her book. I wanted to explain to the audience that it was an accident, not murder. That's why I wanted... That's why I needed to be in that show so bad. So during the cleaning, I moved the skull rock to the orca pool. What? But why? It was a key prop. I figured the new show couldn't go on without it. I thought they'd be forced to switch back to the old show. Wow. That was pretty extreme. Moved from the show pool to here. That just further implicates her. Yeah. So Sasha moved the skull rock to the orca pool at the time of the cleaning. And if there's blood on that rock, then that must mean that the victim's death occurred after the rock was moved. Around what time did you pick did you finish up the cleaning? It was about 6 a.m. So that places suspicion on whoever met with the victim after 6 a.m. So Azura Summers was the trainer before you. That's right. She was a year older than me. She taught me all about how to command Orla. I had Azura and Sasha were like sisters to one another. She was the one who taught me the signals for the singing and lifesaver tricks, too. After she died, I swore on this charm. I vowed to become a great trainer someday, just like Azura. What is that charm? It's a keepsake to remember Azura by. She always wore it. She told me once that she and her boyfriend had matching charms. I never found out who he was, so I couldn't give this one to him. I have had it ever since. You're keeping the memory of Miss Summers alive. The captain always carried around a memento of Azura too, her walkie-talkie. Huh? Did the victim have the walkie-talkie on him? Maybe I should show Sasha the victim's photos and see what she has to say. It's missing from it from the holster. The victim didn't appear to have a walkie-talkie with him at the time of his death. Huh? But I talked to the captain on his walkie-talkie before I started the cleaning. <laughs> but there's no walkie-talkie shown in these crime scene photos. I don't understand it. The captain always kept that walkie-talkie with him. What? Look at who's between them. Oh, wow, yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, they did a bunch of tell random challenges in the living room. And they recorded a video, so... Maybe the culprit took it away. Hmm, maybe. But what would be the point of that? I better organize the data I have on the victim of the court record. It's starting to get complicated. The captain always kept that walkie-talkie by his side. It was the walkie-talkie Azura used right at, up until she, her death. In the middle of the show, the orca um, brought Azura up to the surface in her mouth. She left tooth marks in Azura's walkie-talkie. Hold on. 
Do we, do we have that dummy in our court record? No, that was, uh, I believe that was sorted out. Because the, the bite, there were bite marks in the dummy. Yeah. And they, th these bite marks are not the same bite marks. No, they're the not. Uh, the bite marks on the dummy were more fully circular. This Basically. one's missing a tooth. Yeah. So that would imply that there were two orcas. Yeah. The captain said he always kept that walkie-talkie with him so he'd never forget. We can also see her charm up below her right hand. Uh -huh. So the walkie-talkie was really important to the victim. But now the captain is dead too. I'm the only one left who can protect Orla from the ship's doctor. Protect Orla from the ship's doctor? Wonder what Sasha means. What do you mean by protect Orla from the ship's doctor? You know, Herman Kraft? Ever since the accident a year ago, he's been completely different. When Azura died, he said he was going to euthanize the Orca. Before that, he always used to say that euthanizing animals was a despicable act. I don't know what the heck happened to me there. Euthanize the Orca? That's horrible! They all thought that Azura's death was the Orca's fault. Nobody believed in her but me. The ship's doctor always keeps poisoning the to poison to euthanize the orca with with on hand. And if Orla had been pronounced guilty in yesterday's trial, he would have used it. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. You don't think? I mean. He's, he said, uh, he, when we tr we questioned him about it, he said, mind your own business. Yeah, but are we sure that that's actually the euthanizing drug and not just, like, a sleeping drug? It's possible, but you, we don't know yet. Yeah. Because it could it could be poison to an orca. Because yeah. that seems like a sleeping pill for a human. Yeah, because basically uh, euthanizing is, uh, as far as I, I, I heard or understand it, it's basically like using too much sleeping drugs yeah. to put them in a permanent state unless, of... Unless... I don't know. Unless, if what happened in the past, um, Orla was suspected in the past, maybe he used the sleeping pill to simulate euthanization. Mm, I don't know. So that he could save the Orca. It's possible. He was going to put her down right away? That ship's doctor was close with both the captain and Azura, you know? I think he hates Orla. I guess we'd better look into Dr. Crab a little more. Boss, let's go see Dr. Crab. I was just thinking the same thing. We have a lot of questions to ask him. Okay. We're uh, out of time now. Yeah, just, we're, I think we're just about done. Oh, it's Pearls and Rifle. What are you doing here? Rifle came in here, so I followed her. Oh, that's right. We were supposed to deliver Rifle to him. Completely forgot. Oh, Rifle! Gah! Yeah, what are you doing? Stop that! You silly mother penguin! What if you injured my spectacular genius brain? Dr. Crab? Are you alright? Huh? Oh, it's you people. I saw you brought Rifle for me. Uh, Rifle was really laying into you. Well, she hates me because she thinks I took her baby away from her. Screed, screed! <laughs> yes, Rifle that looks makes so a lot of noise. Happy you. is she playing? Is she actually playing with Sniper? Stop all this cacophony! The biological parent and the caregiver parent locked in a struggle over the child. This silly mother penguin down for me. Alright, I'll try. Um, what are you doing? I think Rifle just threw something up. Oh, I'm getting food for Sniper out of Rifle. Mother penguins stock up food for their babies in their stocks. They break it down in there so that it's easier for the baby to eat. Wow, you sure know a lot about animals. I mean, I, he'd have to. You're trying to pick a fight with me again, aren't you, little lady? 
Yes, I know a lot about animals. I am a licensed veterinarian. Hmm. Rival certainly is in a bad mood, even for her. Is Rifle okay? Hold on. I'm checking her now. Girl in the strange outfit. Could you turn Rifle back, back on, uh, over on her back, please? Alright, Rifle. I'm just gonna turn you over, okay? Mm, what's this? The bottom of her feet are pink. Oh no, what, what kind of sickness is that? We have to get her to a doctor. Athena, get a hold of yourself. Dr. Crab is a veterinarian, remember? It's just something she stepped in by the looks of it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's her stomach that's the problem. There's still something in there. Here we go. Hmm. Looks like she swallowed something odd. I know this penguin will eat anything, but where did she pick up something like this? Son of a gun. I'll have to talk to Marlin about her care. Dr. Crab, may we see what was in Rifle's stomach? Huh? Please be quiet. I'm busy right now. Busy? But you're just staring at that weird machine. I'm checking to see when Rifle ingested the foreign object. He just keeps looking at that machine. He won't even glance our way. Now I'm really curious to know more about this monitoring system. Could you tell us more about the monitoring system you have here? It's a collection of electronic medical records for all the creatures here. This system and the camera footage, I can monitor the creatures 24-7. I won't tell you any more than that. It's private company business. But medical records are usually just a, rec a history of past medical exams and data. I never heard of any that could monitor 24-7. Good point, Mr. Lawyer. I can see there's no fool in here. But why would you want a fool? Oh, wow. We've gone this entire time and only seen this once? Yeah. There, that's restraint. This guy's going to be a tough nut to crack. What is it, five? No, it's two, but this is the first time we've seen it in this segment. And like I said, looks can be deceiving. Some people can have five, and they just literally take one piece of evidence to break. Others can have, like, two like this, and it takes forever. Mm -hmm. And much, much prodding to get that broken open. I have my reasons. Alright, so let's talk about the charm, and then we can quickly get rid of this, and then we'll uh, call it. Huh? Looks like this the charm Sasha. Oh, Dr. Crab, do you know anything about this charm? Charm? Hey, leave that alone! That belonged to Azura! What was Azura's charm doing in Rifle's stomach? That's odd. But Sasha was telling us about the charm earlier. Sasha 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 said that she has had Azura's charm. But that charm is still in the detention center. So this one obviously belongs to the boyfriend. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't Sasha say Azura and her boyfriend had magic charms? And then she she also mentioned she that... She never met him. Yeah. But there's but here's the thing. She's... Like, here's the thing. Um, Dr. Crab... Like, Herman Crab literally just said that she must have eaten the charm when she was with Rhymes. Yeah. So... Marlon Rhymes was the boyfriend. Uh, by that by that reasoning, anyway. It seems like the case. Yeah. That would explain why he so has a vendetta against the orphan. Now we're having reasons for motive. Yeah. So the second charm must be the one that belongs to Azura's boyfriend. Dr. Crab, is it possible... Uh, hold on. Is it possible this charm belongs to Azura's boyfriend? I refuse to talk about such personal details of the deceased. Subject closed. All right. Sure is touchy when it comes to Azura. Discovered in life is stunned. I belong to Azura Summers. This is his, his boyfriend. Azura Summers. Yesterday was the anniversary of her death, wasn't it? That's right. She was killed by the York. Do you, do you really think it's your? It was the York. Do you really think Orla killed her? I I don't believe it. Who can say if the York did it on purpose? But the fact remains that she killed Azura. 
I was right there, the day of her death, a year ago. I saw the orca bite Azura with my own eyes. But, is that really the whole truth of what happened? So, so, or, so the orca bit her, and yet she has no bite marks on her at all? Huh. I guess only Orla knows what really happened, both a year ago and this time. Okay, we've only got one last thing to do. Take that! Okay. I want you to tell me about the Margaret system. You don't let up either, do you, Mr. Roy? They're just electrical, electronic medical records and feeds from security cameras. With these, I can monitor all the animals 24 7. And I say that's not true. I have proof that you can't monitor the animals 24 7 in the system. Security monitor. Take that! The security camera doesn't begin recording until 10 a.m. If that's the case, how could you possibly monitor the animals 24 7? Okay, you got me. Guess that was a pretty weak explanation. You're right. I guess I can't monitor the animals 24-7. But if I but if I see anything unusual on the camera feeds, I just swing into action right away. So if I can examine an animal, I I can usually tell exactly what is going on with them. Wow, he's really confident in his abilities. But I still say you can't do that 24-7. But I'm here at the aquarium most of the time. And I can go anywhere at any time to examine any animal. Anywhere? I say that's not true either. I have proof that there's a place you can't go. The orca pool? Yeah, because only Sasha can go in there. Yeah. Take that! The only people who have access to the orca pool room are the owner and Sasha. So how can you say you monitor all the animals? <laughs> Son of a gun. So you knew about the security card, did you? Yes, tighter security was imposed on the Orca a year ago as a precaution. Due to Sasha's objections, I wasn't allowed to have the card. I guess she was trying to protect Orla from him. So you're monitoring the animals with a, with a system that's private company business. But I have to insist you tell me about this monitoring system. Now you're trying to pick a fight with me? Very well. I suppose it's only fitting that the spoils go to the victor. I'll tell you about Shipshape Aquarium's ecological data organization system. <laughs> so what does that medicine you were using do? Is she, is she has a medicine? It is medicine for some people. <laughs> I need my fix, man! <laughs> it's a system of ecological data organization developed in Europe. I call it the Torpedo. What do you think? Pretty impressive name, isn't it? Torpedo? As in man the battle stations and all that? No, no. It's the name I gave to this data organization system. Torpedo. It stands for Teleobservation Real-Time Pertinent Data organiza Organizer. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. But it is Super Admin Restricted Desktop Access Password Protected? S-P-A-R-D-A-R-D-A-R-D-A-R-D-A-R-D-A-R-D-A-R-D-A-R-D-A-R-D-A-R-D-A-R-D-A-R-D-A-R-D-A-R-D-A-R-D-A-R-D-
places where the creatures don't normally live, like the stage show, don't have sensors. Okay, here we go. It's telling you the time rifle swallowed the foreign object, approximately 4 a.m. on July 20. What an odd time. That was when Sasha was doing the cleaning. Maybe that's why she could she wouldn't take my fish, because she was full from the night before. But at least Orla ate it, so that's okay. Orla ate another animal's food? That's odd. She's never done that before. And when she had that episode, too, I'd better take a look at the page. Huh? She didn't eat anything from the evening of the 19th to yesterday afternoon? So Rifle had a late night snack, but Orla went hungry, huh? It appears so. But let's see. She's been eating normally since yesterday afternoon. Come to think of it, Jack was supposed to feed Orla yesterday morning. Maybe he died before he had the chance. Worried about Orla's condition. I better remember this torpedo data. The torpedo data shows that Rifle ate around 4 a.m. on July 20th, but that Orla did. Did Rifle steal Orla's food? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I still wonder why he wouldn't tell me about the torpedo. Here's Tassie Beer. Dr. Crab, why did you want to hide the existence of the torpedo system? Well, it's a safe system that has been approved for use in other countries. But it hasn't been legally approved in this country yet. That's why I always carry this terminal around with me. It's not something I want the police poking their nose at. You're, being, you're breaking the law! Which is why I was keeping it a secret. It would create a problem for the aquarium. I had Jack's permission. He felt the animal's care was more important than the legality. But we wanted to shield the rest of the staff, so we kept it a secret. But breaking the law is breaking the law! But in some cases, lives can be saved by breaking the law. Do we simply allow the lives of our animals to be lost while we wait for laws to change? Uh, now you're just twisting things around! I'd like to use this evidence during the trial tonight. May result in you and Shipshape Aquarium be brought up on charges. Well, I followed my own convictions and I have no regrets. You're only doing your job. I can't blame you for that, Mr. I appreciate that. What's that sound? Warning sound. Is that a penguin? That's my ringtone. Gee, Dr. Crab sure likes cute things. Maybe he wanted it to sound like Sniper? Hello? Crab speaking. Son of a gun. You people again? Stop harassing this aquarium! Orla was found not guilty. Why on earth should we, she be put down? Huh? Come there on the 26th and explain? Fine. Just let me write that it down on my... Son of a gun. Where did my calendar go? His calendar? Could he be talking about that calendar? I realize that if it comes to that, I'll use that drug to euthanize her. Mr. Wright, he said euthanize her! We better ask him more about this. And why I should put, uh, try presenting that calendar to him, too. Sucks. Dr. Crab, isn't this your calendar? Yes, it's mine. Why, what are you doing with it? Mr. Rhymes found it in the nap room. Oh, I must have forgotten it there when I tried to get some rest. Come on, breathe! <laughs> it sure is a cute calendar. I guess you're crazy about penguins? Somebody gave it to me, okay? Now, please don't tell anybody about it. It's embarrassing. Zura designed this calendar. This one here is a prototype. She designed a calendar for this year, and then she died before it went on sale. Wait, what? Were you and Miss Summers romantically involved? What? What gave you that idea? <laughs> it's just that I sensed sadness in your heart when you talked about the calendar. Of course we weren't romantically involved. I don't believe in romantic feelings. Oh, shake it, though. By the way... Did you meet Mr. Shipley at 7 a.m. on July 20th as scheduled? No. 
We were supposed to be, but Jack didn't show up. Is that really true? Sasha finished cleaning the Orca pool room at 6 a.m. If Dr. Crab managed to get in the pool room somehow and meet with the victim, then he would have had an opportunity, the opportunity to kill Mr. Schiffler. Calendar updated. Alright, now we talk to him about the euthanizing. Well, who was that phone call from? Son of a gun! You heard that? Who didn't hear that? It was the Center for Dangerous Animal Control, calling with a demand. They said that the Orca may have been found not guilty this time, but that if she ever attacked a human again, I would have to put her down. Put her down? But that's horrible! Did you agree to their demand? Animals sometimes do attack humans. And of course, humans sometimes do kill animals to protect themselves. If it comes to that, yes, as a veterinarian, I am prepared to carry out euthanization. Using this poison. Oh, no! Oh, hell no. Huh, this capsule. There's the same letters on it as the one that was in Orla's stomach. Did Dr. Crab try to kill Orla? Please let me ask you one more question, Dr. Crab. What is it, Mr. Lawyer? You look so brave. I heard something disturbing from the writer Norma de Plume. The center demanded that the aquarium be, uh, put the killer whale down a year ago. Put her down? But the aquarium owner refused their demand, saying it was an accidental death. But I hardly think a persistent organization like that would just give up and go away. I'm quite sure the, the power of money helped to convince them. What makes you think that? Once a month, the owner and the vet disappear from this aquarium. And I came to find out that, each time, a large amount of money was being paid out. I think Shipship Aquarium might be keeping some kind of secret. And that it has something to do with the recent murder. Five. Five Psyche Locks? She just has to stick her nose in everyone's business. Son of a gun. I should have dealt with it all more carefully. You know, I just realized his catchphrase is son of a gun. Mm -hmm. Rifle, sniper, yeah. son of a gun. Yep. I love, this. I love this man. I love this man. He has a motif and he's sticking to it, damn it. The true neutral embodiment. <laughs> How am I ever going to remove all those locks? As if you haven't removed five psyche locks from someone before. Yeah. Huh? Wait, who said that? Hold it! Who said oh, that? Oh, uh, hold it! Sorry to interrupt, but Prosecutor Blackwell wants Dr. Crab. Detective Fulbright. You again? You couldn't possibly have any more questions for me. Well, you see, we're having a little problem. We were going to call the Animal Keeper as a witness for the prosecution, but he's being very stubborn and refusing to testify. And so we thought we'd ask you to be a witness in tomorrow's trial. Did you really know? Well, I'm not taking sides. I'll tell what I know, no more no less. That would be fine. Now, if you would please come along with me. Well, it looks like we'll have to continue our talk at the trial tomorrow. I don't know what secret you and this aquarium are hiding, but I'll uncover it if it'll help save the spotlight. Give it your best shot, then. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, it looks like we're gonna, we'll are gonna we be going up against Dr. Crab in tomorrow's trial. I bet he'll be one tough customer. Okay, we'd better get our evidence organized for tomorrow. I'll have Athena hold on to the evidence I don't think I'll need in court. Evidence has been realized. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Wright, I went to Hitfield Clinic. Apollo, use your indoor voice. S sorry about that. Anyway, I found out a lot, so I wanted to tell you right away. It turns out that the mysterious capsule is a powerful sleeping drug. Apparently, the brand name is Three Z's. Yeah, it says three Z's right on it. And they say the, said the Shipshape Aquarium vet recently bought a large quantity fr from them. The vet? 
Dr. Herman Crap. We Phrases is supposed to be for people. But Dr. Crab told him it would work on other mammals like orcas and dolphins too. So Dr. Crab's euthanization poison is actually sleeping pills? When Orla almost drowned today, was it because she was given sleeping pills? And I found out more than just about that capsule. Dr. Hitfield himself gave me some information. Shipshape Aquarium had someone on their staff named Azura Summers, right? Yeah, the one who died a year ago. Well, Azura Summers was getting a certain medication from Hickfield Clinic last year. The same heart medication as Sasha Buckler. Really? Azura Summers had the same heart condition as Sasha? Nice work, Apollo. Thank you. We'll be coming back to the office soon. There's okay. No... Oh, God, it's a finish right here. Okay, Chrissy and I will be here. Yeah, I know. I'm just like, talk about the mother of all coincidences, right? Well, we better get back to the office and get ready for tomorrow. I'm sorry. Can I just point out the fact, like, you guys are complaining about that. I know a lot more than you guys do, and a heart condition in this game is not the first time they included a heart condition in any of the Capcom games. No, that's true. A, Len's brother passed away due to a heart condition. B, they come across another young child in the later series with the exact same heart condition and they have to save his life before he passes away due to complications. Well, th that's the thing though. Here, I'm sorry. Here's the thing with that though. Were the Hitland's brother and that other kid connected? Yeah. They had the exact same uh, well, heart. Other than that. Uh, no, but the reason why that uh, they took it seriously was because uh, uh, Me uh, Mega Man pointed it out. He's like, I literally passed away to due to this if you don't do anything right now he's going to die yeah no that's that's yeah. reasonable but here's the thing in this case it's, it's a phoenix rank game two yeah, 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 people yeah, absolutely. working at the yeah. same aquarium one was the mentor of the other one <laughs> what a twist are you telling me that in taking over for her mentor she took over her heart condition as well yeah she stabbed herself in the heart how? And, and she's to blame. With that needle. And, and she's to blame. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the same woman. She just happens to be pulp between everybody. Huh. Either that or twins again, in which case. <laughs> are you are you are you su Hell are no. you suggesting that Sasha Buckler is Azura Summers? And, yes. And she faked her death? Yeah. That seemed a little too convenient though. Not to mention they look nothing like. Mm. Maybe, yeah. I'm what sorry, it's mean, not going to be mean, another Dolly I mean, off or In, in uh, the, the second case in the second game, the the um, the older sister to the one that actually died got facial reconstruction surgery. Yeah, no, but that well, what I'm saying is uh, one was Mil Milano and the other one was... Is, she's a pasty white girl. What are you going to do, girls? I thought I'd stay overnight here and be with Orla and Rifle. I'll be ready for a telecast during the trial tomorrow. Good luck to both of you. I mean, the only other thing that comes to mind is sisters or mother and daughter. They aren't related. No. They were established to be not related. Yeah. Thanks, Burley. That way, when we prove <laughs> Sasha innocent, we could see Orla right away. That's a load of shit. Because this, this is the Phoenix Wright game. They do not do random shit like that. You're defending it. Your first day in court was defending an orca whale. I don't. I think that ship has said. I think they they pulled their quota of random BS at this point. Random BS go yes, but when it comes to that's what I'm saying. There's no way there's this is a coincidence, and they are most definitely suspicious. You will obviously because Capcom doesn't do subtle. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'd love to. I'd love to see Sasha and Orla back together again, both free and clear. But before that can happen, I have to prove Sasha's innocence. We need to bring up the I am the storm that is approaching scene. I am the storm that is approaching. Yo, he's coming back, uh, uh, Johnny Young Bosch. Yeah. He's voicing Dante in the show. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be confusing, though. Why? Because he's the voice of Nero. Oh, yeah. I mean, they are twins, technically. They are not no. twins. But, okay, that's they're brothers, own. whatever. No. Yes, they're brothers. That's his uncle. Well, 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 yeah, Nero and uh, Dante. Dante is oh, Nero's oh, oh. Uncle. sorry, 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 yeah, sorry. Yeah, you're talking about. You're, 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 you're talking still about... blood related. It works. I guess it works. 
unless 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 the guy they're showing off is actually secretly Nero and they're not revealing anything. No, no, no they are. Kind of, it's the, the way the way he's acting, like he literally does the the uh, signature. Woohoo! Uh. Although the, it could be a, a plot twist later on that that's Nero pretending to be Dante. No, because Don't Nero so. Nero specializes in revolvers. This and this doubling. show this show is the introduction to the series. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. All right, you guys. Uh, we are going to we are going to finish this court case next time. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we will be we will uh, return with Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door and deal with other pirate shenanigans. Yep. Oh, the irony.